Good morning, good afternoon everywhere. So today we're gonna talk about deep groove ball bearings. Now, why do we call it deep groove ball bearing? So deep groove ball bearing because it's have a deep groove in it and some steel balls. I think very, very logical name for a deep groove ball bearing. Uh, so if we look at a, a, a typical uh, ball bearing, it's have an inner race or an inner ring, an outer ring, then steel balls and a cage. So this is, I think, more clear. You can see this is the cage and these are the steel balls. Now, it's known that this is the most, most famous bearing and the most versatile and the most common uh, bearing in the world. Why is it so? Actually, you can see it, see it or not see it. It is everywhere at your household's application, in your car, in your motorcycle, in, in your jet ski. It's, it's almost everywhere. The, and and the, reason, the reason for that is because it's one of the bearings that can both take radial load and axial load. So it's, it's, it's very, very, uh, and it is, to mention it's moderate loads, radial and axial, and which makes it very common, very versatile and so on. And the other reason why it's so common, it's easy usually to fit, it's less maintenance, and it's one of the most competitive bearings in the market. It's, it's a usually, uh, so if you have a competitive machine or you wanna get the price down, usually this is, this is the bearing you go for and easy to install. Now, what makes it also very, very interesting, it can come with steel um, or metal cage, polymade cage or brass cage. Now, finally, there are the two most common type of uh, sealing. So the rubber seal or a metal shield these two prevent contamination to go inside the bearing and the grease to leave out the bearing. So it's almost greased for life, which makes it ideal for almost the whole, the whole, the whole time of the bearing. And this is why it's a very common bearing. It's the most common bearing in the world. Thank you for today. Like it, share it. See you next time.